Some state, houses are f some state houses are fighting mad over a federal law to nationalize driver's licenses. It would force all state licenses to meet the same strict standards, like having a digital photo and fingerprint right on the card. And it would feed all that information into your state in the, from your state DMV into a federal database. Missouri State Representative Jim Guest is a leading, leading a coalition of lawmakers from 34 states against the so-called real ID cards. Jack Martin is the Special Projects Director for the Federation for American Immigration Reforms. Thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Jim, let me start with you. You have called these real ID cards a frontal assault on the freedoms of America. Why? A few infringements on our rights. However, at this point, we tend to lose the freedom that our forefathers have fought for, guaranteed by the Constitution and our Bill of Rights. Since when do we have to have a card which tracks us every place we go, tracks meant all of our transactions and where we go? Well, a lot has changed since 9-11, and there are a lot of people who think that these cards could help catch terrorists and illegal immigrants. Jack, why do you think they could be helpful? You can buy phony uh, state driver's licenses and other ID cards in every major city for not very much money. Uh, the 9-11 terrorists had legitimately issued driver's licenses as well as some of these phony, phony driver's licenses that facilitated their actions. So there's a national security component. There is the component of uh, undermining the employer sanctions law that stops from giving jobs to people illegally in the country. and the absence of uh, the real ID, in effect, leads to the increasing identity theft problem we have in this country. Jim, what about that? Actually, what uh, today was a prime example of what driver's license will not stop. We had a letter bomb went off in London. You don't have to have a driver's license to mail a letter, to walk into a building and leave a briefcase, or strap a bomb to you and walk into a building. This does nothing to stop terrorism, and I believe the loss of our freedom makes it worth what we're working for. Jack, what about that? Do you think that, in fact, this could have any significant impact? Real ID is not going to solve all of the nation's problems, but it certainly is going to help solving some of them, and we absolutely have to uh, do that if we're going to have greater security in this country. The American people are, are in, uh, supporting this because they recognize that it's important to them. It is only a fringe on the right that is worried about uh, a national ID, which this is not, and a fringe on the left that is worried about uh, cracking down on illegal aliens who are opposed to this. And what about critics who say this puts way too much pressure on, on folks who work in, D in the DMV, forcing them essentially to make judgments about these complex and confusing immigration laws? Mm. If Absolutely not. right. I think that that is putting too much responsibility on those people in DMV. That's not their responsibility to take over Homeland Security. If we're interested in stopping terrorists, let's target those who come into our country. Let's watch them. Let's their not put the burden on the American citizens. Their responsibility in the DMV is to issue identification cards that are secure in showing who the person is uh, rather than it being a, uh, a fake identification. Gentlemen, it is an interesting debate. Thanks very much for joining us.